Now, WJBF sports coverage you can count on. A 100 degree day for Green Jackets Matt May against first place Charleston. He was all right. Don't worry. It was padded. Uh, Green Jackets got all the runs they would need in the second inning on this two run double by Caden Morton. He was the Braves 19th round pick in 2019. Round the cup. Green Jackets win again four to nothing. The winning pitcher for the Green Jackets is a familiar name. J.J. Necro, the son of longtime Major Leaguer Joe and nephew of Braves Hall of Famer Phil Necro. J.J. is now 6-0 in his first full season of professional baseball, continuing a proud family and Braves tradition. You, know, you wake up, you're a professional baseball player, you're a Brave, the team you wanted to be with your entire life, and it's really following in their footsteps, figuratively, figuratively and literally. What's in a name? For fans, Joe and Phil Necro are two of the most successful pitchers ever to play the game. For JJ, their dad and Uncle Phil. Knowing that I get to put on a Green Jackets uniform or a Braves uniform every single day and how proud that they're looking down from me above. Just, just to say that I am a Necro, I'm in baseball and I'm doing exactly what I thought I would be doing. J.J. lost his dad unexpectedly to a brain aneurysm when he was just eight years old. He took me to school in the morning, and I never got to see him again. Nothing was wrong with him. That moment changed his life. If I hadn't have lost my dad, I wouldn't be the type of guy I was today. I know that because I appreciate every little thing about life. And I realized you're never guaranteed tomorrow. You're never guaranteed your next pitch in a baseball game. You're never guaranteed anything in life. So it really helped me be thankful for an opportunity like this. In 2020, another setback, Tommy John surgery. But last summer, the Braves saw something they liked in JJ at a camp for undrafted free agents, which sent him to Brave spring training. When you wake up in the morning, you see that, you see number 35 retired walking into the cafeteria. It's like, I just know I'm meant to be here. And I know God definitely had that in store for me and I'm just so thankful that's the case. And JJ says the Lord had one more surprise in store. The Braves sending him to Augusta. His aunt lives in the area. But Augusta's always felt like home in an aspect because I can go to her house, go swimming, have a barbecue in the afternoon on an off day and just feel right at home. So it's really, really nice. JJ is making a name for himself while also serving as an ambassador for the Necro name. <laughs> Embracing who they were as people has, has always been the number one thing and I hope I can leave half of the, the impact that they had on the game. Baseball royalty right there. Such an easy guy to root for, such an easy family to root for. I'm going to post much more of my conversation with JJ at WJBF.com. By the way, after Wednesday's win, he has now thrown 18 consecutive scoreless innings. Catch him in Augusta while you can.